Hey everybody, we're live on Instagram. Been a while since I've been live. I'm actually just uh, thought I would poke on and try to do a couple of showcases here because I've been meaning to show off some Tomica Limited Vintage that's come over the last two or three months from Japan Booster. And I know I'm letting people come on, but um, they're sad machines. Love your content, sad machines. And then... Um, but I uh, thought I would just, I've been meaning to do this video. I actually filmed the Tomica Limited Vintage video a couple of, what was it, last weekend? And I hated it. It's too long. And, and I think that, that the Instagram audience is a little more dynamic when it comes to Tomica Limited Vintage. So I thought, why not just show it here instead of on the YouTube channel? And so that's what I'm going to do because I got a new case or I got a new package from Japan Booster just yesterday. I don't want to show you the top. I'll cut it on the back side of this. Um, and then this is also to get me back warmed up to doing uh, Instagram lives because I've got Abe Lugo joining me this week to talk about this new uh, Matchbox initiative with uh, the materials used and such. And we'll get into the details. There's been a lot of questions and I think a lot of people have thought that that Tesla and the packaging that, that they showed was the new packaging. It's not. Um, they're going to be still doing blister packs and everything else, but it's just the materials used. I'm cutting something open, that's why I'm off camera. And we'll talk about that. The Tesla's awesome. Um, that Tesla is just a promo model as well. There's a different color coming out. Anyway, we'll get into that and do some sneak peeks for Matchbox and things like that. Uh, maybe we'll ask him some questions. People have asked about the interior on the Bentley, which I didn't realize they didn't have an interior. Um, see, I'm just kind of meandering, so I apologize. Um, seeing some comments here. I'm hoping that I can see a lot of comments. I always plan on reading a lot of comments and then I get too caught up in what I'm doing. Um, and then, uh, and then I, uh, I did ask, and I'm going to put Jimmy Liu on the spot at Hot Wheels, but I said, is it time for us to do another preview interview and talk about some of the upcoming stuff? And he said, why not? So if it's not this week, pretty soon I'm going to have Jimmy on and we'll get some of those interviews going again. And uh, we might have a uh, have an Instagram preview coming soon for Hot Wheels. I know we didn't have one at the convention because Mattel wasn't there, so this will be kind of cool. All right, I want to start with this because this is the uh, this is the April batch. There's Edith, um, and I'm just looking at it myself. The April batch is pretty small, and uh, and then we'll get to some of the previous releases. So sometimes you've got like between eight and 10 models and sometimes you just have two or four, right? And that's what we're gonna look at here. Um, so this is all about Tomica Lunar Vintage. I'll try and answer other questions as we go. Anytime you get something from Japan Booster from Tomica Limited Vintage, they always ship it in these plastic ca cases, by the way, which is pretty awesome. I save all of my cars in there too. So we'll get rid of those. Indonesia. Hello, um, yo quiero, I want these too, that's why I have them. And by the way, um, if you want these cars, they're available at Japan Booster. I, they have an eBay store, which I'll try and put a, maybe a link once I, one, I'll put a link in my, uh, link in bio to Japan Booster store, eBay store, that's where they'd be available. And they also have, um, you want to go to their japanbooster.com, their pre-order store to get some of these too. All right, got my little turntable here. Why don't we use that? And by the way, just in case, when I, I the next thing I'm gonna, the next video I'm gonna film, and I'm, I don't think it's gonna be live, but I'm gonna do this Matchbox. And I did bring this. I'm not, I'm not gonna use it for the Tomic. I don't think we need to because, the, but the plastic wheels, the last live I did yesterday, the unboxing, really, the, anything that's plastic, those cars roll like crazy, so. Um, Wellington, New Zealand, Mongolia, Virginia, Hot Wheels underscore J from Los Angeles. I don't know if I know who that guy is. Um, North Diecast. Do I have all four NSX? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And we will get to those because they're so cool. Um, are they 164, 162? They are definitely 164. Pure to scale. By the way, I also already filmed um, the Auto World premium mix two showcase today. I'm going to edit that and probably post it for tomorrow night. Um, and then, uh, all right, let's get to it. 
So this is the April mix, 230B, so this has got to be 230A. It is. This is the Nissan Skyline HT2000 Turbo GTES. So we're talking the Skyline Japan, right? And in orange and then in white. We'll take a look at these. I could even do this if you wanted me to. This is that new um, like little garage display that Tomica Limited Vintage did. I'll give you that. I'll show you the case for that. Right here. Which is a cool display. I think that's available. All right, let's take a look. I don't know why I'm putting this on here because it's just too much hassle. Truck Stuff to ID, Mongolian Collection, Smile and Menace. So there's the garage display. That does look kind of cool, doesn't it? Um, for you diagram creators. And I always say, if you want to see good diagram content, go to Hot Customs. He's really good about showcasing these. He builds them himself. And there's a lot of good diagram makers out there. But Hot Customs, he writes for Lamb Lane, does a lot of good diagram stuff. So totally worth it. That's the white one. Here is, oh, it's way more red than orange. I'm going to stop showing this display here in a second. And I'm going to open up these other ones. My daughter is arrived. We're going to grill some fish today. So when I finish this, oh man, that is awesome. Um, so I'll show you this April mix and then we'll get to, uh, so this is, so this one, very simple, no dioramas, no Ferraris, no special editions, just straight up cool cars. I love this. One. This is just too much to put there. I'm going to move it right here. So cool detailing here. If I drop these, this is disaster because it's concrete underneath me. Um, next one, Toyo Pet Crown Hardtop SL. I, a and B. So I think that these are very new too, and these are really, really cool. So this is the limited vintage. So the years are going to be in the 70s, I think, for this one, 60s and 70s. But this one, so we've got the blue, and we have that kind of mustardy color. Tomica needs side mirrors in these. You know, I, I don't know exactly what the philosophy is on why they don't include them. I think because they probably feel in a lot of cases that they're too brittle. If they tried to do them to scale, they would be too small. They would break very easily in transit. And um, it doesn't look like they even included them on here so that you could even add them. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, but I get it. I mean, how sad would you be if you spent the money that these cost and then get it and it has a broken mirror on it? I think I have to think that's why they do it because they want everything to be so precise in how they do it, and if they just don't include them, then you don't have to worry about them breaking, right? I could be wrong in that, if, if that's their philosophy or not, I don't know. But, um, Bull Wheel says hi, and I'll say hi back. What are the questions you got? I'll try and answer what I know, whether it's about these or not. Sometimes I want it focused. Lamb, I love the Indonesia Mini ID 2020. So do I. Those were fun to show. Rayon El Damasco, how I miss TLV. Why do you miss it? Do you not have them? Okay, so now those are the. Uh, I just I'll try and show these up close so you can kind of see the detailing on these. Look at those headlights. Holy cow. Under the glass. The hubcaps and the tires. Just ridiculously cool. I like both those. I actually like the fact that this is a very simple, you have to appreciate them type of cars. You know, it's like, it's like, it's one thing to, to go to like some of these like really 
hot cars that I don't know, hot cars, what am I saying? But like, like people are obviously going to be excited about this, but it's like, I like how you have to really, to really get into Tomic Aluminum Vintage, their bread and butter are these classic cars from before. I'll show you the GTRs right now. Again, this is going to be a meshing of February and March. Um, maybe even January. I don't know. Well, maybe not. Um, it's going to be a meshing of February and March. I don't remember what is what, but we're just going to show them. And these are all available. So these are the two GTRs. And I love, the, love I'm just, let me see if I can even show you, if we can get up close in focus. You see the brake calipers there? So the wheel turns and the brakes stay behind. The calipers are in there. Just an incredible amount of detail. Spoilers crisp. Blue taillights. So this one came in too. So this is, I mean, this, I think we're literally over 20 GTRs that they've done. Tyler Bear, how do we get these? These came from Japan Booster. And so if you're in Japan, there's a million stores you can get them at. But if you're worldwide, I highly recommend, yes, they are a Lamley partner. I'll make that very clear. But they are worth use, utilizing because if you go to japanbooster.com, you can pre-order. If you go to their eBay store, which I'll link later, you can, um, you can buy. And I think if you spend over 100 bucks, um, they'll ship everything for free. So if my suggestion, anywhere in the world. Uh, via DHL, which is quick. And so my suggestion is you get a friend, you guys pick out what you want, you spend over a hundred bucks, four, five, six, seven, car, however many it costs. And then, you know, see if your friend lives in another town, just ship it to him because it'll be cheap that way. But you get the free shipping, which is totally worth it. That's the silver one. Here's the black one. Black one does show the trim pretty well. How much do they cost? It really depends. I mean, they're anywhere from like 15 bucks to some of them go up as high as 60 or 70 and some of the trucks even go over a hundred. Someone would have to look it up. Maybe you could even look at Japan Booster's eBay store. Those of you that know, um, don't tempt me to spend another hundred on die cast. Sorry, sad machines. That's my job. I'm the hype machine, right? It makes people love me or hate me or both. And that's okay. Rand says the country raised the taxes. Oh, okay. Um, that I can't control, and I'm sorry. All right, so those are the GTRs. We'll put these over here. I'm going to show you these taxis, too. These are... Anybody know what these these taxi, what, uh, what livery this is? I mean, or what deco this is for what year of ta or what kind of taxi? Because I don't know. Um, oh, and I, I probably have the boxes for them. I should show those, huh? They're over here on the side. Yeah. Toyota Crown Sedan. The other one is part of the Diacola series. Where is that? Okay, I thought I had it here. Maybe I don't. Thought I did, but I don't. So that goes right there. So that's this one, and then there's this one in white, which is part of the Diacola series. Yeah, I think it is Tokyo. I don't know what this white one is. I think the other one is Tokyo. I don't know. Um, Wakanda. <laughs> Uh, trying to look at your other comments here. You guys all like the uh, black Godzilla. So that's the white Toyota Crown Taxi. I'm getting through some of these. I mean, all of these are cool. How about a truck? Someone wants. Someone just said. Someone said no pickup, no something. Well, here's your pickup. From the limited vintage range, Toyota Stout. Comes the figure, I've not taken it out. I'll just show the truck. Is TLV overpriced or the right for my... <laughs> no, they're not overpriced. Um, 
I think those of us in the U.S. are so used to uh, are so used to the one dollar cars that anything over than that we have to like. Is it justified? Oh, these are totally justified. So. Someone likes the red edition background. The only reason they're in the background is because that's one of the next videos. I got to update the red editions and I have Zamex over to the side here, but you don't see those. Oh, what am I doing here? Say there's Zamex behind there. Got all of them out. So that's a video that's upcoming. I've still got to work on it. So that's this truck. I'll try and again, try and show some detailing on it. Here's little little details that I love to show with Tomic Limited Vintage. That spare tire is rubber. So it's not just molded into the base. And if you ever want to see them roll, notice how you don't hear anything? It's because they're smooth as smooth can be. They roll as well as anything. It may not be as fast as a Hot Wheels car, but they roll they roll smooth. I mean, it, this is, without a doubt, the highest quality 164 die cast there is. And, I don't, and that's not a Lamley hype thing. I think that's just fact. What do I think of the Dollar General exclusives? I think they're awesome, and I think I have a case of them coming, so I can do an unboxing for you. So I'm excited about that. All right. Should we do Integras? So... TLV has done a couple of, they've done a few releases of the Integra. We're getting to the cars here in a second that I'm most excited about. So two versions right here, gray and white of the Integra three-door coupe XSI. I think both of them are the same. Yeah. And they both have spoilers. I'm not putting them on there, but I'll show them to you. Here's the gray one. Wheels are stock. Headlights, tail lights. Let that one go for a little bit. It even has the rear window wiper on it. Lamley, can you say something because it's my birthday? I'm saying tons of things. Unless you want me to re refer to your birthday. But here, I'll say something. It's a beautiful day outside. The sky is blue. The clouds are out. The trees are blossoming. It is spring. There, I said something for your birthday. So there's the gray Integra. Here is the white one. And by the way, when I, if someone watches this, and I hope they watch this later, if they're not watching this live feed, these comments don't show up. So when I break into that kind of commentary, people will wonder why. But that's okay. I like the white one even more than the gray one. Beautiful car. I mean, the gray one's great, too, but just, I always think of Integra's in white. UYY Parse 24 says he's in love. Well, go get one. You should go get one. J -A -J -J -G Hop Wheels. I think he was hoping for a birthday, for a happy birthday. Well, of course. Of course. The wheels are like the VW Gold GTI Brazil. Yeah, you're right. White pops more agree. Orbital fame, fame wheels. Hey, Terry. How you doing, Terry? Are you going to be in Albuquerque in July? Lamley haiku catch it live, folks. <laughs> All right, that's Integra. How about some wagons? Because I love showing wagons. All right, let me get the boxes. Where are they? Where's the other box? Hold on. I think I have another wagon box, but I can't find it. Oh, well. Well, there's one. So this is the Toyota, or sorry, Nissan, sorry, Nissan Cedric Wagon V20E SGL Limited. So these are the other kind. It's like Integra's all of us go, woohoo, we get all crazy. We get all nuts because we love these cars, and we should. But then you got to love these kind of wagons. Where's that other box? Dang it. I'm going to just, like, tear up my little workspace over here. All right. Screw it. I'm not. So that one, I'm going to show you the first one that I don't, that I've, the box is somewhere. 
So notice this one has like a military deal on it. I am assuming. It just comes in the regular box and it's just this kind of military green, a purplish brownish interior. Nice stock height. And then, you know, those of you that ask about side mirrors, it's going to be very interesting because wait till I show you the next one and you'll see what I, you know, like I don't know exactly what their philosophy is. Um, someone wants to know when they're doing a bug eye Impreza wagon. I have no idea. I haven't seen anything. Or have they announced it? I don't know. Maybe they have. So here's this one. And notice this one has mirrors, and it also has the luggage rack here on the top, or the roof rack. And it's got a little bit more of a trim, right? But it's like, so I don't know why they decided to put the mirrors, because they look, they appear to be the same, but, but why they decided to put the mirrors on one and not on the other. You'll just have to ask them. Does TLV ever do American muscle cars? No. I haven't seen them do one. They've done, I mean, they haven't so far. They've done some European cars, and that's about it. You know, they did an Alfa Romeo and Porsche. And I think there's a couple more Porsches coming, I think. Ferrari, of course. But no American cars. That's what uh, Auto World is for, in my opinion. Not that they <clears throat> plan that, but Auto World does great stock American cars. like this. That's part of the video. I shouldn't even be showing that, but there, or this. See, that's, the Auto World to me is like the TLV, and the, the, it's not totally up to snuff in terms of the, how they're produced, um, but they're pretty darn close. Their philosophy is very close. They do a lot of stock cars. Um, and I think it's, you know, and they, and they focus on scale. So here, I'll even get out this brand new casting. So this, these actually work well together. So there's your crown wagon and your Nova wagon. So the crown wagon obviously is Tomica Limited Vintage. The Nova wagon is, try and get these together, is Auto World. And you can see they both have that really nice stock look to them. So, not bad, right? And one thing that Auto World does, the Tomic Limited Vintage does occasionally, but not all the time, is they do the opening hood and cast the engine. How does the Auto World C8 compare to Mini GT? I'll tell you later. I'm, I haven't totally put them together, but I will. So there are those. So I'm going to put those here now. Let's get to some, uh, here's a fanboy car. In fact, here's the box right there. Let me move these wagons over. Mugen, right? Did I say that right? Mugen. Uh, Hot Wheels J, HW underscore J. Did I say that right? Um, so here's a different one. So this is that kind of, so they've done a ton of, st of stock civics, including this generation, but this one is very unique and they're doing a racing version. This is based on a real car and you can see all the details here, which are pretty phenomenal. There are side mirrors on this one. Yeah, I think I see some of you are a little surprised. I'm telling you, man, if you're not familiar with Tomica Limited Vintage, it's worth it. It's worth getting to know. Isn't that sweet? Try and get into some of the details. See the roll, roll cage. See all the details in the back. Exhaust on the side, they added this exhaust piece. I mean, this is tight.
You like that one, guys? <laughs> There's the box. So sometimes these special edition ones they do in this special bigger box. They can they come in the nice display like that and even have pictures of the real car. You can put the antenna on it. Go. Which I'm not gonna do. I never ever do, just because I don't want to lose the pieces and all that kind of stuff. So there is a little hole in it right up at the top, right on that second zero on the 100 to put the antenna. Okay, you want to get to some real meat here? That's meat, right? But let's do, how about, should we do Toyota slash Lexus? How about that? So, I mentioned that when Ryu Asada did the Prelude for Hot Wheels, that was one of the cars that is incredibly high on my want list of cars to be done in 164, and he finally did it. This is the other one. And I would love to see Tomica Limited Vintage do the, um, that Prelude, the fifth generation Prelude. I'd also love to see Hot Wheels do this one. Um, this is the Toyota Alteza RS200L edition. I think both of these are, the, yeah, both the same. Um, also known in the United States as the Lexus IS, right? First generation, still an incredibly good looking car. And has those clear headlights, which are pretty signature. Those wheels, I think, were unique to that first gen. And then I think we saw them kind of show up on later versions of the IS before they totally changed the body. So it comes obviously in two colors. It comes in white and then in blue. Move these back here. Of course, I really like the white version. But so here's the cool thing. So these are the and side mirrors on this one, as you guys can see. There's an old HKS styled Alteza years ago. Yes, and um, who was it that did it? Um, I think I think I might have it somewhere. But, you know, proper stock IS, that's what I really wanted to see. Um, you want me to test roll it? Yeah, I can do that. That's blue. Here's white. Crashing into the other stuff. So hopefully that rolls well enough. Zoom in on the lights, sure. I can do that. So there's the headlights. Notice the detailing in the grill. Don't drop it. Oh, I probably will. And there's the. So if you notice, they made the tail lights like you would, so you can see the pieces behind the glass, just like the. Uh, IS or slash Alteza has now here's the cool thing we're all interested in the IS well there is a Hong Kong exclusive boom of the Lexus so this one has the Toyota badging on it but we got a Lexus version as well so this is the Hong Kong exclusive this did not come from Japan booster they can't do the Hong Kong exclusives they don't get them so I got this from Mobile Garage, who I'll also leave a link to, or at least I'll link them to their account, um, to their Instagram account, so you can go, you can link through that. Japan Booster doesn't have an Instagram account, but Mobile Garage does, and I got these from them. Um, and look at that, that's the Lexus. So now those wheels look familiar, right? Those are the wheels that you're used to with the first generation Lexus. And headlights, so once again, that focused. There you go. See all those details? Brakes. So they did a version in white. So it even has a different art you can see because it's a, it's a, uh, and it's an exclusive, Hong Kong exclusive. See that? And then, of course, silver. So, if you're a big fan of the Lexus IS, this is the 200. Um, you have that, too.
interesting they did those small details. They do. I'm telling you, sad machines. They, they, uh, they don't, they don't cut corners. And you have to think. I mean, I remember. I mean, just to quote Rio again. I, and I've talked about this. Rio talks about how difficult it is to scale these down, and have them be as realistic as possible. And the magic that Tomic Limited Vintage is able to do to make these look so real is incredible in this scale. That's why they're expensive. It's not just the materials used. It's the skill. It's the production. It's everything to make these uh, to make these so darn realistic. All right. I think a lot of you have been waiting for these, so I'm going to put that. And how about we go Acura? Actually, Honda, right? NSX. I showed this in a live a while ago on you on YouTube. So these are brand new too. Brand new casting. Told me a little bit of vintage is really tackling the '90s, and they just announced a 180SX coming later this summer. And um, so I think we're going to be seeing more from them. Let me go down a little bit. I'm going to do this so you guys can, so this doesn't, so this, you guys can see this in all of its glory. Because I want to show you, let's see, where is it? There it is. If you haven't seen this, talk about moving parts. Let me see if it shows in the, doesn't show in the box, but this, it comes with this piece right here, this little hook thing. That's not something to add to the car. It's just a way to open it. So here I go. I'm going to zoom in. And use this hook to open the back window like that. Notice it's, it's, th I mean, if I wanted to break this, I'm sure I could. But see that, and then we're not done. This is what I didn't know when I opened it the first time. Get that hook in there again, and open it again, and there's your engine. Isn't that incredible? While we're here, there's the tail light, total separate piece. I'm gonna let's keep it up close, even though you can't see all the details at once. But uh, you can't see the whole car at once. But at least you can get a sense of this, of the details on this car. If you did not know that you were looking at a toy car, you would think you're looking at the real thing. Isn't that incredible? So we'll keep that close-up going on the red one, and then just same thing on the silver. And then I'll, um, <laughs> I see people comment, like, telling their friends to get over here. Check this thing out. I'll try in here. I'll move back just a little bit. Stock wheels, everything. So now here's the question I have for all you fans who are the big NSX fans. So that is the 1990 NSX. So the next thing that they produce, and I'll put it in the background, is this one. You see the orange box, and if I come up close, they do the 1997 Type S. And I'll pull that out because I want to know, were these colors stock. I'm really curious. We'll open this one up for sure. We'll let it ride one. We'll let it roll a couple times. I'm looking at here. Mini GT does for the new Datsun 510 does what? It's really cool. You're talking about the Kaido House car, which is fantastic. All right, Sad Machine says, yes, this is a stock color. So I assumed it was, because that's why Tomic Lumina Vintage did it, right? Okay, this one does have mirrors, by the way, so you can look at that. You can see that they did do them, and they do last. I'm not even going to try and test them, because what if they do break? So I'm not going to try. 
Notice the interior on this too, two-tone interior. We'll open this one up. So this is the 97. Get the window open and there you go. Yeah, so the interior does match, but it, but I'll tell you the, on the other color, which is just a crazy color, we'll get to it in a second, um, says the same in color interior. So I wonder if that orange tone interior was something that they did on all of them. Yeah, oh yeah, and I, like, this is, uh, Sad Machines is walking me, he should just come join me. Because on the, notice, I'll just put this here, on the gray one and the red one, it's this, it's this, solid cover here, right? For the type S, it's mesh. Notice that? You can actually see through it if you're careful. Look at that. That's the kind of detail <laughs> that is just so amazing about Tomic 11 Vintage. If it had a mesh cover, they created a mesh cover. So, I mean, it's just insane. So while that one is going, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, well, let's put this here. There's your other color in green. So that one has the orange two-tone interior as well. Lena, 41, Amola orange, pearl orange, 2002 to 2005, cars made. Where did I buy the NSXs? Topher, I got them from Japan Booster, and I will put links up when this posts. After we're done with the live, I will have a link on it. Oh, we got a little piece of dust there. There we go. I'll put, take this one off to the side. I will make sure that there's links and or at least like other uh, references to where I got these because there's Mobile Garage as well. So there's that mesh again. What do you guys think? What's your favorite? GTR, Lexus, NSX, Crown Wagons, Skylines, Toyo, Toyo Pets. Does it have yellow pearl in it as well? No, I don't think so. Do I have the Inno 64 NSX? I don't. There's some Lamley contributors that do. Will Diecast gets Inno 64. A few other guys do. I don't have any of the Inno 64. Do they have metal bases? <laughs> uh, I always love that question. Um, sometimes, if it seems appropriate, this one appears to be metal. Yeah. It's metal, but some of them don't. Some of them go plastic. And it's just, it's not, you know, in these cases, it's really not about the materials used. A metal base doesn't make this 15 bucks, right? Or 20 bucks or 25 bucks. It's the construction. So if they decide that a plastic base makes more sense for a particular model, that's what they'll use. So. Oh, the reflection, I see. Yeah, I think it is the reflection. I'm in the garage. Sun's coming in from over here. You can see my hand motioning in the in the reflection of the package. That's it, guys. That's what I have today. I can try and answer some more questions, but I, you know, I do most of these kind of showcases on YouTube. But I thought, I mean, I'd love to see, I'd love to see Instagram monetize this. You know, to it's always nice to make a little money on these videos, but. At the same time, I think that the Instagram audience is more prepped for Tomic Limited Vintage. So I know some of you, a lot of you go to my YouTube channel, but some don't. And, um, and I thought this would be kind of cool for you guys to, to see here. So I thought it might be kind of fun. And maybe I'll do it more as I get Tomic Limited Vintage as it, as it arrives. I'll just come out here, throw the phone on, cut it open, show it off, see what you guys think. Um, and go from there. Um, looking at other, uh, when is the R32 Calsonic out? Fairly soon. If it's not this month, it's next.
said, I, I want to see your next rendering. If you guys aren't following Sad Dot Machines on Instagram, you should. I love his stuff. I will, I will let his work speak for itself. And yeah, so we'll do a Zamac and Red Edition showcase. I've got some other Hot Wheels Premium to do. Matchbox coming. J-Case coming. So J-Case coming Tuesday. Um, Matchbox Mix 4, I think, also coming Tuesday. Um, some premium stuff to do. The Matchbox Wagon Showcase will come up soon. Here, move back. Oh, there's that box I was looking for. It's just sitting on top of this. So the Matchbox Wagons 5-pack. I actually pulled out every version of all of these cars. I'm out of the... Here. There we go. Um, I pulled out every version of these five cars. And... Uh, we're going to showcase those. That will be either a live feed or a showcase. I don't know yet. And that will be on YouTube. All of that will be on YouTube. So. What is the, when is the next Mini GT video? Actually, that's also one that's coming. I have a whole thing coming. I have a whole package coming from them. And I got a um, notification from DHL today that it will, should be arriving tomorrow or Tuesday. So it's just this stacking up of stuff. And it's just as soon as I can get it, I'll do it. Um, I could do that on Instagram too, but I kind of like to do those on YouTube as well. It's kind of a, seems to be kind of for both audiences. So we'll see. All right. I think I'm going to bail out. It's time to start cooking dinner. Fish tacos, black beans, and a Pacifico to wash it all down. So that's what we're going to cook all on the grill today because it's beautiful out. So, I like all you guys, but time to go have fun with the family, right? All right, guys, I am going to head out. Look for me and Abe Lugo this week, maybe me and Jimmy Lou later, and maybe I'll do a couple of other live feeds and some cool reels or whatever else. It's just fun to do it. Thanks, everyone. Bye.